On Friday, May 17th, WestCare will be hosting an open house event at Judy Patton Center for Healthy Families. The open house will last from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and visitors can take a tour of the building while learning more about their outreach programs. This also allows the public to get a look at some of the new additions and renovations made to the facility. We're going to uh, do a tour of the facility so that everyone can see exactly what all we have to offer um, and just talk about the programs that we have there, talk about the trauma-informed care that we um, provide. Uh, we have a licensed um, PhD on site who do, uh, oversees all the counseling, the group and the individual counseling. And so just let people meet, meet the doctor, meet um, the staff. And so just to let everybody know exactly, uh, exactly what um, it looks like, you know, and, and how nice it is and how, um, how our staff works. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. WestCare staff will have the opportunity to connect with community members and assess any of their needs if they have any. Their goal is to reach out and help as many as possible. Our open house is for anyone who um, might need treatment, someone who might know someone who needs treatment, someone who might be in a position uh, working with substance abuse clients, things like that, that um, we uh, just wanna show what we've done there. It's a 96 bed facility. It's an amazing building. Like we've redone everything in it. It's the old lookout school, but we've redone the whole school and um, it's just beautiful. There's a lot for the girls to do. And so we just wanna kind of show that off and let everyone know that we're there, that um, we accept Medicaid, that we accept Unite vouchers, we, we can pull from court systems. We'll, we just wanna let everyone know exactly what we, where we are, what we are, and what we're doing. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.